Hello and welcome again to another edition of Minutes with Menace. Joining me today, I have senior Caitlin Gillette and junior Kaya Manor. Um, and thank you for joining the show, ladies. A um, couple of things we have uh, both these ladies on today. Uh, something very cool happened with our Cameron Dance team. Uh, they recently competed at the state competition, and I believe they competed in both palms and kick. Yes. So they had two routines qualify for state this year. And why don't you guys tell us how you did? Um, we got sixth and kick and seventh and palm. Those are actually the highest we ever placed in either for the Cameron team, so that's really exciting. Okay. Yep. That's what that's what I had thought. Six and they missed, they missed medaling or getting a trophy by like five points. Yeah. Yeah, five points, something like that. So you know, and and I know for those of you that don't know, um, you know, the, the the dance team, their season started way back in July. They started practicing three days a week in July, so it's a tremendous amount of time and effort that you ladies put in. So. Yeah. Congratulations on a great, um, great dance season. I know, Caitlin, this is your last year yeah. in dance. What um, what do you remember most? What do you? What's um, going to be one of your fond memories you take from the dance team? Making all the friends. Like you are with them for seven months, so you create a really good bond with all of them. Okay, very cool. And then one other thing that we had to pass along too. You may notice that um, our ladies are dressed up here today. Uh, we've got sub districts for forensics. And I know Kaya, I think, are you in forensics or not in forensics? Yep, um, we actually placed second at the oh. Menominee meet my group did. Okay, very good. So both these young ladies are in forensics also, and their tournament season starts tonight actually with um, sub-districts. And to qualify for state, um, well, how do you do that? How do you qualify for state so forensics? So we go to sub-districts, and we have to get um, better than a 16 tonight, mm -hmm. and then you go on to districts, and at districts you have to get better than a 20. And if you get better than a 20, you go to state. Okay. And then state is in Madison in April. Yeah. Okay. So very cool. I was a forensics person all four years in high school. I did it a couple years mm -hmm. in college. So um, very cool. So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, good luck at some districts tonight. Thank you. Thank you. A couple other things coming up from the high school here. Um, our end of the trimester is actually coming up. It's going to be next week, Thursday, the 28th of February is the end of the second trimester. On Friday, March 1st, there will be no school for students at the teacher in-service day. So um, students, if you're out there, if you have a few things that you want to get in, get before the end of the trimester. There's still a little time, uh, but we're running out pretty quickly. Uh, the new third trimester will begin Monday, March 4th. Uh, and students, we encourage everyone to check your schedules because lunches will change, study halls will change, uh, your classes will change. So you want to make sure you know what your schedule looks like going into the third trimester so you know when you're going um, your first day back. Also, speaking of the first day back, March 4th, our winter activity day that was canceled due to the poor weather on the 30th of January, we are going to try to reschedule, weather permitting, uh, for Monday, March 4th, uh, that first day of the new trimester, uh, kind of a welcome back celebration for the school. Um, and so Students will be able to go to all of the activities that they had originally signed up for with the exception of our downhill skiers. Um, unfortunately, the hill doesn't open unless they get at least 75 other um, people to open the hill. So we, we can't really reschedule the um, downhill skiing, but all of our other events will be a go on that day. So it'll be kind of a nice way to start the new trimester. Um, also, our ACT testing tomorrow and Thursday is ACT testing for our juniors um, with the potential weather. If school happens to be canceled tomorrow, that ACT date will move to March 12th. We'll send out lots of information. Um, and obviously, if school's canceled, all of our other activities for our freshmen, sophomores, and seniors will also be canceled. We'll have to see about making those up or what we do on the 12th, but more information will come if we happen to not have school. And speaking of snow days, uh, with the calendar uh, right now with days that we have to make up, uh, we're looking at making up some of those days during that week off before Easter. Um, so more information will be coming out from the district as far as the exact number of days, depending on what the weather goes. But just kind of be aware that week, the first three days of that week will be make-up days as we need them. So you might want to keep that week open because I believe we've got two make-up days uh, we had to do so far. Um, and so there will be some days that week where, we're, where we are having school. So um, 
Crazy time here around the high school. Again, with the end of the second trimester, it's hard to believe how fast the school year has been going. Um, we'll be back next week, or not next week, but we'll be back next month to talk about uh, more upcoming things here at the high school. Thanks for joining us today.